I believe that most police officers do have good intentions. They don't take the job to do evil, but unfortunately, they are forced to cover for other officers because of the blue wall of silence. I believe that it could be very different. Epic is a really straightforward, I am your brother's sister air keeper program, which means if you're a police officer, uh, and really in any profession, but if, especially for a police officer, if a partner or another officer is about to do something that could cost them their career, or maybe even their freedom, I've already made a promise to them that I'm going to step in and I'm going to stop it. The whole idea of snitches and rats, and, and especially snitching in other cops, kind of goes away because if you act beforehand, before the conduct occurs, or just as it starts, you don't have to deal with the aftermath. I started this class by telling people right up front, the biggest ethical dilemma you're going to face is not a free cup of coffee. The biggest dilemma you're going to face is what do you do when your partner does something truly wrong or unethical and you're the only two that know about it. There's no downside to saying, I'm not going to let you do something wrong and I want you to stop me if I do something wrong. I think you're right to your police chief and say, why have, if you aren't doing this program, why not? There's no downside to it. Everyone thinks it's good training. It lets everyone know that since everyone is receiving the training, then everybody knows the expectation. It wasn't a surprise to me that we were going down this path. Uh, it's very important that police officers hold themselves accountable for the actions of not only themselves, but the individuals that are doing the job with them. I think this will be beneficial to police departments across the country. We have to let them know that it's not okay to support something that you know is illegal or a violation of someone's civil rights. We have money for training police and they should be trained because their profession is has a lot of angles to it. It's pretty amazing that anyone would take that on. Well, I think we have to keep appealing to the people who are, you know, not in office, but who supposedly have the ear of people in office. Uh, we have to continue to demonstrate. And we have to continue to go down to City Hall. We have to continue to try to get our input in down there in writing. We just have to keep doing that until the revolution.